Hi everyone, it's Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and this is part of my 30 actions in 30 days. Although for the last couple of days I haven't done any YouTube recordings, I've still been working on some actions. Now, recently I made a couple of actions for an asset called Outline Effect, and I won't open up the page on the Unity store, but if you go search Outline Effect or check the link in my description, you can get a link to the asset, and it's actually a free asset. And what it does is it outlines different things in your game. It could be uh, geometry, uh, different kinds of text, sprites, whatever else. So there's a few um, little glitches in it and stuff like that. But for what it is for free, it's good. I created a couple of Playmaker actions to go along with it. And I'm going to show you how to both set up the asset and how to use the Playmaker actions. Now, this does work in 2D, I believe. I've tested it in 3D, we'll do 3D, but it does not work in uh, single pass render for um, VR. So this is not working for VR. So just to let you know that. So I um, haven't really set up any scene here yet, so we're gonna do that together really quickly, but for the most part, I'm just gonna set up a cube or two and we'll add the effects to that cube. Now I'll just add some basic geometry here. Uh, maybe we'll do a sphere for something different because we just never use a sphere on these tutorials. And <clears throat> it is pretty much already right in the right place. And uh, I'm gonna add another object here. We'll put it slightly behind. So they're intersecting each other. Okay, so we have a cube and a sphere and let's just see about um, giving them a, a basic color maybe to help us uh, differentiate between them more easily. So let's just do this one as red and this one as blue. You can do whatever color you want, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's good. So now the script that this asset comes with is in two parts. One part goes onto the main camera and the other part goes onto the objects themselves. So it's in my assets here under outline effect and you can ignore this linked set and the resources in the demo what you want is the outline and the outline effect so the outline effect goes onto the camera itself and then we'll grab the uh, say let's just do the sphere first and we'll just throw on the outline now why don't we check out the script on the, ca the camera first and it allows you to set three different colors for outlines. You cannot set more than three different colors. We can use Playmaker to change those colors if we want, but I'm just gonna leave these three base colors the way they are. And you could potentially rewrite the script to allow for more than three if you wanted to, but it's just three out of the box. So there's also a line thickness, line intensity, and fill amount, and there's Playmaker actions for those too. And I'll just, um, adjust those while it's on and then we'll see. So let's hit play and see what happens. It might take a second here to load. So already out of the box you can see if you look very closely this sphere has a red line around it and so if we actually turn out the line thickness here you should be able to see it easier. We can turn up the line intensity, it changes the color of the line and we can change the fill amount so we can have it completely filled or not filled at all. So as you can see it's set to line color 0 so there's also line color 1 and 2 so if we go to the cube itself and or the sphere I mean and we see it set to color 0 we can set it to color 1 or we could set it to color 2 so those are options 1, 2, or 3 so there's only those. Now we could also choose to erase the render, and what this just means is it disables the render. So if we click this, you can see it stops um, having the outline around it. Now you're wondering why we may want to do that, and so I've stopped it, the game, and I'm just going to move this cube, or sorry, the sphere behind the cube, and then let's push play again. And you can see that the, sp the sphere is now um, passing through the cube. The cube almost looks transparent. And that could be annoying for us. 
And so how we get past that is let's just turn this back off and go to the sphere and add this outline script to the sphere as well. And we'll push play. And let's see here. Ah, oh, I did that wrong. Sorry guys, I have the uh, sphere on twice. I can't seem to differentiate between the two. Okay, so there's cube, add the outline, push play. Okay, so now they both have the uh, script on it. And so when they both have the script, they, it no longer becomes transparent. But if you don't want the outline around them, so let's just increase this so it's easier to see. So if I don't want the outline around the cube, then I can choose to erase a renderer, so disable the renderer. And now the cube and the is not transparent anymore. So if we disable the script, you can see it becomes transparent. Okay, so that's basically how it works. It just has those two parts, and it really only has um, a color and whether it's rendering or not. So we have a couple of Playmaker actions to go with this. And let's just uh, disable this. So the sphere, we can change the color or other settings. Let's just move this up a little bit. And why don't we go to the sphere and choose to add a new FSM to it. And we'll add maybe just a uh, weight state as the first state. And when it's done waiting, it will go to the next state. And the next state, let's just um, maybe change color. Okay? Pretty straightforward. So on the wait state, we'll choose actions and add wait. Okay, I, for some reason, just have a random wait, not a regular wait here. That's okay. We'll add a random wait and we'll set it between, like, say, four and five seconds. And it will, when it's finished, it'll go to change color. Okay, so in the change color, so now the new actions that I've added here, if we scroll all the way down, I've got a lot of actions in mine, but it'll be under outline effects. And we want to change the um, color here. So we can set, um, which one do we want here? Oh, looks like I don't actually even have it here. I might have missed it. So I'll have to rebuild this effect. So that's not going to work. So what I will do instead is enable the outline effect renderer. So we'll put that there. So we'll say um, enable or disable. So let's add this one instead. And so we're using the owner because we want it to affect the sphere. And so we're going to disable the renderer after four to five seconds. So let's play this and see what happens. So right now you can see it's enabled and then it's disabled itself. So we could use this in a lot of different ways, like as if your uh, maybe your mouse enters over or a key down, or if you're clicking on something or hovering it, we can enable or disable the um, this renderer, this outline effect, or we could change the color with it. I'll have to add that action back in. Now, there's also a, um, a couple of other actions here, so I'm going to delete this one. It's unnecessary, but we have the set outline effect. So what this does is changes these. We have 0, 1, and 2, and these will change the um, outline effect script here, so we can set these colors as 1, 2, or 3 as well as we have effects for set the outline effects on the camera so the thickness, the intensity, and the fill amount can be changed on the main camera. So basically all of these things can be changed here by Playmaker, fairly straightforward. And uh, I'll have to add back the effect that allows me to change the number here on the outline. So that's it, that's just basically how this effect works and as you can see it can be used fairly easily to highlight different things or unhighlight them fairly quickly with Playmaker. So I hope you guys enjoy this action. It's free. Download it from my GitHub, and uh, let me know how it goes.